I have to get fucking game pass for that. Okay, oh, let's get go. started! <laughs> what is this? COD. Is this the main event? Yeah, I'm shutting my door. Main event. <laughs> Get a PC, Dylan, you won't have to buy an Xbox. Hello, and welcome to Cryok in Los Angeles, and thanks for joining us today. We're excited to share with Mark you. Mark Gordon, I thought his name was Mick. For Black Ops 6, we really want to give Jagger. ourselves the time to craft something truly great. This means we're delivering a new level of polish and innovation across all parts of the game. I've been working here for over 20 years, and I can tell you that we have some special on our hands with Black Ops 6. I know that painting on the wall of the Wonder Wolf is actually kind of crazy. Campaign and global innovations across the entire game. Ray Gun looks ugly, We're taking dude. players to a new but familiar era, the early 90s. In true signature Black Ops fashion, our story builds on okay? real history, thrusting players into a conspiracy where a shadowy force has infiltrated the Did highest levels of the U.S. government, branding anyone who resists as traitors and forcing players to go rogue for the first time to fight the very machine that created them. The team has been meticulous. Are we become a terrorist? Every aspect of this game to deliver the fun and attitude players expect in a way. Black Ops franchise. Probably. Don't get games, of course, here and brings the Black Ops style and provides a playground for the brand new Omni movement system. No, new way no. to push beyond your limits and move like an action hero. Hell no. Mm. That later today. That's gonna piss me off when I get killed with a shotgun like that. Better than ever. And you can be sure it's full of surprises. <laughs> with that. Let's step into the mind bending campaign experience we've been Dolphin side dive shotgun shot. Boom. Oh, yeah, get me on the bike. No turning back now. Every Shotsy doing that back and forth. Mission. When we set out <laughs> to make Black Ops 6, we were focused on delivering missions so iconic. That they stick in your memory long after. Put that on my We're here. bringing that action packed blockbuster feel to every step of the narrative. We're giving you more variety, more dynamic moment to moment gameplay, and more options to finish each That mission. chopper gunner looked OG as fuck. It was, bro. Right, aim in. The game is packed with unexpected moments of Black Ops mystery. It's a high octane spy thriller where you're never sure who to trust and what's real. And it's all set against the backdrop of the early 90s. The Soviet Union was crumbling after the fall of the Berlin Wall and the end of the Cold War. The U.S. is the only remaining superpower. The Gulf War was dominating headlines everywhere. And there was a growing mistrust in government reflected everywhere across the music, television, and pop culture of the time. When we talk about the Black Ops timeline, Black Ops 6 comes after the events of the Cold War, but is directly tied to the 1986 flashbacks in Black Ops 2. The aftermath mm. of which has left our heroes in dire circumstances. Oh my god. god. Look at my boy Woods. Black Ops 6 blends the rich and gritty history of previous franchise titles with bold new characters. The numbers, Mason. Frank what do they mean? Through line in our story. What do they mean, Mason? <laughs> in this new chapter, we see a different side of Woods following his. Dude, I'm going to have to go back and watch the Black Ops 2 campaign. This. Last time I saw Woods, bro, was, in, to a new role within was the about to Often fall apart, you saw him. Facts. Was that Black Ops? Two or three. It wasn't three, three didn't have a campaign. No, four, four, four didn't have a campaign. Three is fighting robots. What was, what was the mission? 
CIA handler. Who are you Harrow. and who did you shoot She's with the sniper that ended up being a good guy? And helps manage their relationships within the Was it Mason shooting Woods or Woods shooting Woods Mason? Woods' ability to operate in the shadows has always been hugely valuable. I think it was Woods shooting CIA. Mason because Woods was still alive. <laughs> Tell us that that's Lieutenant Dan. To make tough <laughs> Once that Harrow tries you ain't got no leg with it. But when an operation goes wrong, Woods and Marshall are suspended and ultimately forced to go rogue. <laughs> <laughs> they soon realize they have to trust each other to get to the bottom of what's going on. Without any of their usual resources, they have to build their own team, recruiting two exciting new characters in Felix Newman, a technical genius, and Sabati Dima, a mm. mysterious assassin. Yeah, they're about to be multiplayer operators. <laughs> with the end of the Cold War, these former enemies have become new allies. And with the sudden return of notorious Adler. Russell Adler, who'd gone missing for months, Dude, ally may have honestly, the Cold War campaign was fire. It was good. The game was shit. The campaign was yeah, good. Multiplayer, campaign multiplayer, dog shit. Campaign, really good. And unique experiences. Our goal was Unlike to Ghost, a campaign and multiplayer were really good. Fire. <laughs> One moment, you'll be storming a palace. The next, you'll be pulling off a heist at a casino. GTA. You know, it's just heist? GTA 6? <laughs> them in vastly different it's not really Black Ops Within 6. These missions, we wanted GTA 6. To unfold in multiple ways. This guy sucks. Players the freedom to navigate through them as they see fit. EA playthrough. Where we have different combat styles, we also have conversations. I wonder if we're going to get any, like, OG, like, barter, BO1 maps, other than, like, experiences and firing range. You'll want to replay levels to see them all. All the popular ones. Like, honestly, bring a ray back. No one's gonna shoot this guy. He's fucking invincible. No shit on. Yeah, but when I play campaign on hard or veteran, I'm dead in one shot. I decided to offer a variety Swear. of different enemy types in the campaign. The goal was to what the fuck is that? Player. Was that a job? So whether they choose to go in guns blazing or take a stealthier approach, line them up right, you can take them both out. I wonder if you can do this co op. Nice and quiet. Continue to push on what's possible in terms of power enemy combatants behave. Your enemies will be relentless, constantly seeking to outmaneuver. Probably not, but we can do Gears of War co-op. Cut off escape routes, push on players' location, and force them to think on their feet. Damn. We've created so many strong ass helicopter. Level objective in a variety of ways to approach that objective. Is that a rare? <laughs> One mission in particular takes place in a. How about say that was a rare? You and your team are hunting down missile launchers with the SAS. It's one of the largest campaign maps that we've ever created. Oh my god. I know we're coming. Azir Azir Cave. <laughs> Damn, I was just about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> You'll find that some of our destinations have a start on spray. WMD. As well. We have a mission that takes place in an opulent casino in Dude, southern Europe. I'll start throwing some crabs. Unlike any past mission in Call of Duty. And what the player does in this space is totally what is this, hit In another one of our missions, we have set in the harsh tundra of northern Russia. So, array. We are excited to offer an array of brand new oh, he said array. favorites from the Black Ops universe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's go! Tranquilizer trap. What? Adrenaline stem, homing knife. Homing what? knife? Oh, Hell God. no. Jake, no. Jake God damn him. it. <laughs> Maybe Jacob will actually be able to hit a throwing knife. <laughs> <laughs> watch watch she walk up like that. We just gave Jacob the ultimate crash. You might remember we also had that in Black Ops Cold War. Nope. But this time, we wanted to think a little bit more broadly about the environment. We chose to have our team's hub located in a more naturalistic setting. So a mansion, in natural, an abandoned manor by an a state. cliffside. <laughs> That's not a state. What's most unique is that it Might used be. to be a KGB black site. So this is Rainbow Six Siege. This brings a lot of intrigue to the safe house and will allow players to explore and discover secrets from the past. The team is also but you can't go outside because doors don't which work. Is still the centerpiece <laughs> of the safe house experience, but with brand new upgrades. Players can view the campaign outline, gain deeper insights into missions, and analyze evidence <gasps> collected throughout missions. Who is the guy that was the bad oh, guy? Oh, Mendez. Black Panther. Three, two, oh. One. 
Did you say Black Panther? Jordan, uh... Oh, Michael sick. B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan. I think we got That's who that one dude Killmonger. With Black Ops 6, no, not Matt Scronti. That experience that keeps players immersed across every single mode. Good lord. We pushed ourselves at every uh. corner to innovate and craft the most signature Black Ops experience. Uh, dude, we were just talking about backwards dolphin dolphin diving the other day, weren't we? This area of focus and innovation for Call of Duty. Oh my god. With Black Ops 6, <laughs> we're redefining movement across the entire game. For the first time ever, players can sprint in any direction what? and move like a true Black Ops action hero oh, with an goodness. entirely new global system we call Omni Movement. That's crazy. The ability to move like never before and seamlessly chain combat maneuvers like slide, dive, and our enhanced supine prone what? 360 degrees range of motion. From the beginning, we started with you can't do this thing. That's why? actually kind of crazy, and though. And then realize people actually move that way. What happens if we get rid of that construct? And then instantly it slide and tell me with a shotgun, you're getting instantly reported. Which then led to all the on the ground movement. And Whoa, else well, why'd you get blown? <laughs> Impact oh. grenade. So you can turn this omnidirectional it's stuff off. That boy have it all fucking game, ranked. Whether it's campaign, MP, or zombies. We truly believe Dude, I'll be fucking dolphin diving a zombie movement, like that. There's no going Guess what? Rank's not gonna be out day one. I'll be out day one. We'll have we'll have Dylan on the uh we'll have Dylan on the kickoff search and destroy tournaments. We'll have what we're calling intelligence, <laughs> which is a set of features that drastically reduces how many buttons or keys you're pressing to perform various movements. These can be enabled in player options and they're broken down into three categories. Oh, W. So a Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2 settings look just orange because it's black ops. Fine -tuning. Oh god no. Intelligent movement really started with this idea that we that want is all players terrible. to focus on what they want to do and not how to do it. We want every player, regardless of skill level or impact, I want one of them chairs though. with Call of Duty, to be able to engage with Omni movement and live out their own action hero fantasy in Black Ops 6. I'll definitely play with that shit on in the campaign, but that's it. <laughs> We looked at other genres like racing games where they have these what? great assist settings that can be turned on and off. Things like traction control or assisted braking. And we really I don't need that. I'm drifting around every corner. Applying it to our own movement options. I don't think this is a one size fits all thing. And I encourage that. players to play around with combos of these settings to really dial in their preferred setup. Is that an L set? That's what it sounds like. Finality affects cash. Oh. Zones or That's right. Character that react when taking damage or dying. In past games, we've only had four regions. For Black Ops 6, we've actually increased that to nine regions. Oh my God. So we, now we can determine if that <laughs> enemy was shot in their left leg or right leg, and then we'll play a bespoke death animation depending on that location that they were hit. So world connectivity is this concept that players' movement and reactions are connected to the world based on their choices. Damn. A great example that really shines is a global feature we that was call false advertising. Slicing, where as you round a corner mm -hmm. and go through a doorway, your weapon's gonna dynamically rotate in the I'll say it after you end stream. And since it's dynamic, it'll be a bit more dramatic if you're slowly clearing a room, but won't affect you at all if you're barreling full speed around that same corner. We are constantly looking for opportunities to set the bar. He has walls. And animations in Black Ops Fucking 6. cheater. We'll get him banned. Take cover! Oh. Check out phone. Our team is super thrilled to show you the best looking characters that we've done. Through our process of photogrammetry, gear that was acquired, scanned, and incorporated into okay. our operatives. <laughs> For our faces, a dynamic real-time analysis of spontaneous performances was captured and processed to make every emotional, impactful moment true to actual life. We made sure to have special attention to the cuticles and make sure that they don't look like they're just freshly cut. There's dirt in between their nails and the oils on their palms as they're sweating. Yes, I don't care about dirt under, under my nails. nails. Zombie. Y'all saw that zombie. Oh, yeah. They're gonna, they're gonna, the thing that they're supposed to show zombies. The number of new weapons from the era that we've added, which includes many that are brand new to the franchise. I think. What's that? 
Our heroes are rogue operatives and they operate outside the normal playbook. That means they're procuring gear by any means necessary. And it allowed us to make a pistol of weapons. We made sure to deliver dozens the of the aiming was jumpy. Gun, and this allows the players to create a weapon. You to also gotta think who's playing. You can imagine. <laughs> yeah, they can't control this shit. The feel and tone of the era. In Black Ops 6, we really strive Chub. for striking that balance between real and hyper real, but we want to ground our effects in realism. We find real world reference so that we can match that motion, the weight, the timing. Then Statue of Liberty looks a little different. Create that hyper real look <laughs> that everybody has come to know and love from Call of Duty. Statue of No, no Liberty right there. Hug. The Black Ops 6 user experience is all about focusing players on what they need when they need it. And our in-game HUD is no different. Uh, the mini map that's to the Cold War. To in-game notifications, the Black Ops 6 HUD combines some of our best designs in a clean, streamlined experience. I kind of like how the build upgrade and stuff is down there mm -hmm. on the right. Will be able to I don't like the mini map in the bottom left. Ways to suit their needs. Okay, thank God. For instance, streamers can choose a layout. I don't like it in the top right either. I like it top left. It better be top left. So to what? Away. <laughs> right in the middle or anywhere or finally put the mini map in the bottom left those are options as well now i'm good yep Not leave it up there does the hud give players important status it connects them to the world and helps them feel rewarded for being awesome as players track that elusive challenge or target their next level unlock black ops 6 delivers an throw with hidden headshots <laughs> and died and so uh oh, too many fucking attachments celebrated yep how many a lot nuketown i saw nuketown on the screen Oh, please be, please Black Ops 6 is give me what I want. Goal to make leveling and XP matter more than ever. Looking back through the Call of Duty and Black Ops catalog, there's a lot of love, both internally at Treyarch and that we see in our community for how we used <gasps> to handle prestige. Let's no go! Way. No way. Traditional prestige. <gasps> Let's fucking go! Duty with Black Ops 6. We pulled the best of the best from past Call of Duty prestige systems and are going bigger and more rewarding mm, than ever. Pistol. Players who reach max player level will have the choice to enter prestige, start fresh with relocked gear, and go through the leveling journey. Oh my god, I love Black Ops that. 6 will have 10 prestiges, each with a valuable set of rewards to earn and equip to peacock your status. Peacock. Players who make it through prestige Look at those oh, look at those Black Ops Instead, 1 prestiges back there. You see that? With a thousand additional levels to climb That's kind of hard. Shit. And a classified reward to uncover for anyone dedicated enough to make it all the way to the end. The full prestige system <laughs> is available on day 1 in Black Ops 6. Fucking better be. <laughs> yeah, I'd hope so. That's part of the game, dog. I will say I've okay. never geeked over a Black Ops game, but we this one's looking kind of players look forward to multiplayer. Nah, bro, Black Ops is 100% better than Modern Warfare. Now, here's some insight into our development God? of Black Ops. Yeah, oh God. Our vision since day one has been to craft an approachable and engaging step change of that signature Black Ops multiplayer experience. We focused on supporting three core play styles for launch. Enforcers are the Slayers who like to kill and stay on the move. Me. Recon is all about intel and counter What is that? Play. And strategists a snapshot. are support players who throw their bodies at objectives for the win. Oh, there's Brady and Joe. Score streaks yeah, right. Brady doesn't get on a fucking hill anymore. <laughs> weapons, gear, and <laughs> Brady's going to think he's going to be one of the dudes that run around. Supporting these nah, play styles. not on my watch, course, gang. It wouldn't be a Black Ops game if you can't relive those action hero moments in theater. <gasps> Let's go! Returning with Black Ops 6. I've been waiting no, said to go back and look at a throwing knife for a Tom Nady. You're going to get some early details on maps. Making clips and videos is about to be so much yeah, easier you now. That we will be launching with 16 all new MP maps. Mm. We've got 12 core 66 and four strike maps, which can be played as 66 or 2v2. Mm. What do players like? What do we know that are we getting want? any so remastered maps? Three lane maps. <gasps> we've got fast frenetic go. experiences, and we have that balance with more medium size like better for hardcore casing to keep the action flowing but still have meaningful decisions for the player to make 
the maps have their own stories and we have multiplayer taking place after the campaign after you finish it so don't want to get into too many spoilers there but you'll experience some of those locations through the multiplayer lens zombies oh Attachments. we covered a lot today but couldn't leave you without giving you just one more. oh zombies hell yeah let's go what the fuck? this looks like left for dead Alcatraz? Ground based zombies is back. <gasps> and we're picking up the Dark Aether storyline where we left it. We're excited to announce that there will be two brand new maps available at launch with a curated mix of fan favorite features and new elements to discover. For those new to zombies, it's our unique take on the cooperative horde mode. Oh, he's where reading. Every map is packed full of powerful weapons and upgrades, deadly enemies, and tons of secrets to uncover. The legacy of zombies incredibly important to Treyarch, and we are so proud of what the mode is bringing to players in Black Ops 6. As you've heard today, the innovations and movement systems will also be coming to zombies. Plus, there are many additional zombie-specific features, both new and returning. This is going to be a truly epic return for round-based zombies. Be on the lookout for more intel coming later this year. Steph interviewed AB. Mark? Now we know we only gave you a little taste of multiplayer here today, so make sure to mark your calendars for our worldwide multiplayer reveal event at Call of Duty next on August 28th. Oh, two sure days before my birthday. Details, I better get invited. Get hands on Black Ops 6 so you can be prepped and ready to jump into our MP beta and feel Omni movement for yourself. Yeah, fuck that. We'll be sharing so much more about Black Ops Not 6 happy about the Omni. months and look forward to seeing happy about everything else though. And your feedback from our But bro, you'll be hitting clips though. And into launch. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to get final killed and start to destroy by some dude dolphin diving with a shotgun. <laughs> can't wait. Am I well, you're probably going to get hit marked at first. Warzone? Yet. Uh. Our goal on Black Ops 6 was and still is to make something that is the best work we've ever done and frankly the most fun to play. To do that, we deconstructed all of our gameplay, our systems, and content plans and repeatedly asked how something uh, could be better. locked on to him. In some cases, that led us to huge innovations like Omni Movement, where we're now allowing players to move how real people Dude, and operate. I'll be move. hopping the couches. Dude, he can't no shoot. Way. Holy fuck. <laughs> bad aim, bad aim. Bad aim. Classic system through the ringer and making updates and improvements. Across our weapons, gear, operators, maps, and more, a huge push has been to hit the highest visual and audio fidelity possible. No, oh, so my computer's gonna blow up when I load this game. Where you're forced to go rogue and are being Damn, hunted Reed. by the teams that trained you. On top I of saw that, your the team's really focused on mission and <laughs> variety. <laughs> That's wild. Multiplayer is a key False advertising. in the of Black Ops, and hopefully, mm -hmm. in this sneak peek, it was clear that every single part of the MP game loop will be improved and better than ever, from movement to shooting to footsteps to engagement systems footsteps. to death. Was he Dr. Disrespect? Last, definitely not least, the triumphant return of round based zombies. There is so much more to share across all three game modes. If I get in Call of Duty Zombies and I do not appear, uh, Fucking uh, what were their the names? Team, we can't wait for you to play Call of Duty. Rick Toffin and all of them. Toffin, the Cuban guy. No, they're done. Nick, you, Nick you... Rick, Rick Toffin was at the end of Cold War Zombies. He's back. Rick Toffin's 100% back. But I don't know about Nikolai Dempsey and uh, Tok Tok Yao or Take whatever his name was. The Asian guy. Yeah. He said. We were the vault edition. He almost bite me. Mastercrafts are back. Dude, those are sick. He said there's a thousand.